Man smashed by two big rigs stirring the Interstate 84 crash. Sometimes the picture says it all. For Caleb Whitby, the picture says a little too much. He'd rather not think about the semi-trucks flattening his Chevy Silverado like a pancake. Amid the tangled still after the pre-dawn crash near Baker City, set Caleb Whitby, intact, trapped, and full of questions. He would go on to say, Thank God that I'm still alive. Now I've got to go figure out why. More than 100 people were involved in the Saturday morning pileup on Interstate 84, about 10 miles east of Baker City. At least three separate collisions involving more than 20 vehicles injured a dozen people, most of them semi-trucks. All 12 were initially treated at the medical center in Baker City. The most severely injured was transferred to OHSU Hospital in Portland, enlisted in critical condition. Six others remained hospitalized Saturday afternoon, two were in stable condition in Baker City, and four were transferred to a sister hospital in Boise. Black ice, heavy winds, fog, and cold weather combined into what were extremely hazardous conditions. Oregon State Police Sergeant Kyle Ho said that there's plenty of bad crashes on I-84. Nine people died in a charter bus crash in 2012 near Pendleton, but the photos from this incident are dramatic and telling. Sergeant Hove estimated 50 vehicles were trapped on the eastbound stretch of the highway, but then lost count. He said he was distracted by the 100 or so people on the scene, plus 10 troopers and emergency personnel. He goes on to say, I think we're fortunate that there weren't any fatalities here, and none perhaps feels more fortunate than 27-year-old Caleb Whitby. Thanks for watching, and remember if it's more interesting, you can find it here.